for the new board, the 2012-2013 board of directors. Um, before we get to that point, uh, let me uh, please take you through um, an overview of the organization structure, an overview of the election process that's currently taking place. Um, I will make time for uh, the presenters to uh, share with us uh, their goals and uh, what they aspire to um, to bring to the organization in the year to come. Uh, also, there will be a highlight on the upcoming events and a reminder of the next meeting coming up on June 16. So, uh, this slide might look familiar to you. Uh, this is an overview of the organization structure. Uh, the General Assembly uh, appoints the board of directors. So, uh, uh, you're the ones who nominated uh, the uh, positions, the people running for the different board positions, and so uh, as part of the General Assembly, you're required to be a member, and I will take you through uh, of how to become a member, if you're not. So uh, the board of directors um, talks uh, along with the advisory board, uh, we have an advisory board, that uh, board of consultants, and uh, the board of directors does oversee the executive uh, positions and here are the executive positions. Now we have new executive positions uh, that I will also walk uh, through. So, with the new organization structure, currently there are five board positions, uh, but we're expanding it to seven board positions. Uh, so, uh, in this, uh, on those seven board positions, there's the president position, the secretary general treasurer position, and we have what are called the four open board positions. Now, at any point, if you're interested to look up those position descriptions, roles, and responsibilities, you could, I just want to show you that this link takes you to the e website. And Thank you. 